First, never underestimate the power of doing the right thing. God uses the means of grace. And though at times it may feel tedious to keep bringing your children to church and getting them to sit and having family worship and they, they're fr flailing and hands are going everywhere and they're screaming and, you know, look, our home and our family is just like any other family. The children do not just, aren't born and come into this world ready to sit while dad reads the scriptures and prays for them. That doesn't just happen like that. It takes work and some of them, it takes more work than others. It's part of it. But that, that diligence, and at times we do do it out of mere duty. We, all, we, we do. We fall into that sense of, I do it because I should do it, but my heart really isn't in it with a sense of, of faith and, and joy. But doing it is, is, is important. Now, I trust that we will, we will always try to repent of a wrong spirit and attitude and, and joyfully do these things, coming to the house of God and, and engaging in family worship. But doing the right thing, never underestimate the power of doing the right thing. I am sure there were times when Joseph and Mary were merely doing what they ought to do because it was a sense of duty rather than real joy. God uses the means of grace. But I want to say something else. Not only that you should never underestimate the power of doing the right thing, you should also never overestimate the power of doing the right thing. Never overestimate it. There can develop in the minds of some, especially as they're instructed in doing the right thing, and uh, they, they, they adopt this. And look, some years ago, <laughs> there was a certain program that was very widespread in North America, and there were people who would go to these conferences, and this man would get up and say, you know, this is what you should do here, and this is what you should do there, and it was all listed in ways for, for prosperity and for teaching children. I'm not going to get into all the details of that. But people would follow it. And I met people when I came to North America. I met people who had followed this to a T. Done everything that that particular individual would, would put within their programs. And they followed it. And they thought, as long as I follow this, the outcome will be what he promises me. But it wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't come about the way that it was taught, the way it was sold at the seminar. And they wondered, why? Why? They overestimated the power of doing the right thing, as it were. Beloved, never let us get to the point where we begin to forget and we undermine that we always need the power of the Spirit of God. It is not by us doing the right thing that hearts are changed. Certainly by doing the right thing, we put them in a place where their hearts can be changed. But you simply reading the Scriptures and praying every day and bringing your children to church does not guarantee their hearts will be transformed. It needs the activity of the Spirit of God. Without me, Jesus says, we can do nothing. We need His activity. It's not about our doing. So don't underestimate the power of doing the right thing, but don't overestimate it either. 